Let's try to see a quick sneak peek that what we are trying to build in the document understanding series. In my input folder, I have three PDF. Two are invoice. One is a native invoice. One is a scanned invoice. And then I have a receipt which is also in a scanned format. I'll go to my automation and I'll say run the file. Automation completed in 31 seconds. In the folder, I have three Excel file now. For the invoice, the relevant data such as the server name, the total and the date is extracted. Similarly, for the invoice, we have extracted the account number, the invoice number as well as the date. And same goes for the invoice number two. So this is the automation we are going to build. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video in the UiPath document understanding series where we are looking at the document understanding in a step by step manner. This is the complete life cycle of the document understanding and we have also planned our videos roadmap in the same way. So whatever you see on the color such as load taxonomy, digitization, classification, validation of the classification and the training of the classifiers, all of that we have already covered in the previous videos. Today, in this video, we are going to cover the one which is highlighted in green, which is extracting the information from the documents. That would be our topic for today. And the remaining three blocks which are marked in gray would be covered in the upcoming videos. So today, we are going to discuss about what exactly is the extraction. If I talk of the agenda, this would be our agenda for today. We are going to have a recap of what exactly we have done. We are going to start with what exactly is the extraction. We are going to use a new scope, which is the data extraction scope. Next, we are going to see what is the regular expression editor wizard. Then we are going to see how do I configure the extractor. And lastly, we will discuss about what the different extraction methods which are available in the UiPath document understanding. Right. So this would be our complete agenda before going to the videos in case you are coming to the channel for the first time and you haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing to the channel to get the next video in the document understanding series subscribing to the channel is free for you but when you subscribe it helps me to grow my youtube channel and motivates me to create more of the such content having said that let's get started now okay so let's quickly see what we are trying to build in this use case okay so we started with a use case which was about the reimbursement process we have three sample files i have two invoices and one receipt which we are trying to extract the data from okay so we started by creating the taxonomy that what is taxonomy.json and then we have seen in the digitization that how i utilize the du framework to extract the data in a form which the machine can understand after that, we have used the classification to classify the document, whether it's an invoice or it's a receipt. Then in the last video, we have seen what exactly is the present classification station and how I can train the classifier to make sure that the confidence score increases. Right. So all of that we have already done till this point. Today in this video, as we already seen that we are going to see the extraction stage. The first question arises: what exactly is extraction? So till this point, we have seen that document understanding is able to read the data. It is able to digitize. And now it is also able to confidently say that, yes, this is an invoice. Yes, this is a receipt. Now, once it is very much confident that, yes, all of that is done. The next stage is the extraction, because once you are confident that, yes, it is a receipt. Now, the next stage will come that, OK, now what data you have to do now? What is the task you have to do? And the task here is to extract the information from the document and extracting the data, whatever we are interested is called the extraction, right? So to get started with the extraction, the first thing which we need to use is the data extraction scope, right? So this is how it looks like. It would make more sense if we go to UiPath Studio and then we come back to the presentation. Okay. So back to our use case, right? So I hope you are creating the automation with me in it taxonomy, digitization, classification, validation till this point we have already done. Okay. So once the validation is done, if you remember in the last video, we have the if and we have the else in the else we have just mentioned it is more than 75 percent confidence and here we have made it to 85 right so let me just make it to something 70 right so 
it does not fall into this category again okay so 70% confident if it is not confident then we have used the classifiers and this we have already discussed once the classification is successful now we have to do the extraction so same like the other stages i am going to take a sequence drag and drop it here okay and this sequence we will call extraction where we are going to extract the data okay so if you remember when i was doing the classification i have used an activity which was called classified document scope okay similarly when i was doing the training of the classifier i have used something which is called train classifier scope now to get started with the extraction same like we have the different scope for the data extraction i have got a scope whose name is data extraction scope which is inside the app integration document understanding in the same package which we have imported okay so the first thing first you have to drag and drop this data extraction scope okay so we are done till this point it is asking us the same details what is the document path right and all these document path and everything we have created variables from the previous videos and we have made the scope to the main sequence right that is why these are available for me now the next thing is what is the document text which is the digitized text str document text the next thing what is the document object model so i'll just go here and i'll mention document object model pass all the variables then it is asking me where is the taxonomy so i'll go here and i'll say taxonomy next it is asking me what is the document type id and what is the classification result now please focus a little bit here it is asking me mukesh where is your classification result right please read the name carefully it says classification result and if you see this one this classification result if i keep my mouse it says classification result it only requires one classification result okay now since it makes sense that yes if you are talking about classification it should be in the classification stage only right so if i go to my classification you would remember that we have got output as classification results and if i keep my mouse here this is an array right if you see that small uh, square bracket that indicates that classification result will always give you an array and this guy is expecting a single classification result but let's try to see what happens if i just pass this classification results here it won't be compatible right it will say that hey mukesh i only want one classification result and your classification result s is an array if you go to the variables see it is an array square bracket now from the array you have to provide only the one classification result right and since we are only doing it for one document here one by one i can just go here and write classification result of zero right and that error is gone now so i am telling ui path that okay out of that array of classification result take the first element why we are doing so because i know that i only have one classification result right the similar thing this guy we have also done in the present validation if you guys remember while i was checking the if condition here we have used the classification result of 0 which means that from the array take the first element and that confidence we have used right so this is the same thing we are trying to pass to the data extraction scope also because this guy is not asking you for all the results the extraction would happen only for one document and that's why it is asking me what is the document path and what is the classification result not the results right it's not the array it's a single one and next it is asking me what is the document type id so document type id is also part of this classification result right so how to get the document id i'll expand this okay if you guys remember from the classification result video 
we used to get it by just typing dot document type id and i just say save right so if you remember here in the classification i guess in the log message we have used this variable here see document classified as document type id and this used to print the message that it is a invoice and this complete is coming from the taxonomy right so i hope till this point we all are on the same page okay now after this is done it is going to give us the output in something which is called the extraction results so i'll go here hit control plus k and i will create a variable called extraction results okay we'll remove the space the variable is created you can go to the variable and see that the extraction result is created so this is in this scope and i can increase the scope because we have always seen that it's always required on the main sequence okay now data extraction scope has a couple of properties classification result not the results document object model document path id there is something which is format value if possible we'll talk about this in the presentation we have passed the taxonomy and the extraction result is the output right apart from that there is no other property here now document extraction scope is asking me here something you have not provided any extractor right it is saying me that okay i will go and extract this information but what technology you want to use to extract this information and that's where you guys need to know that in ui path we have different different kind of extractors which are available so same as in the classification i have different different classifier the same concept is applicable here where to extract the data you have different different ways you have different different extractors right now what are those this is what i have mentioned in my slide there are four extraction method which are available you can use the regex extractor you can use the form extractor you can use the form ai and you can use the semi structured ai as well right so these are the four extraction method which are available for you guys okay and today in this chapter or in this video i am going to talk about only the one extractor which is the regex based extractor because if you are able to understand it with one extractor it would be easy for you to relate to the other ones okay so first creating a simple use case only with one extractor right so this was the document understanding scope and now let's talk a little bit about the regex based extractor regex as the word suggest simply means regular expressions okay so whenever you use something which is called regex based expressions it would have these properties the regex based extractor would have these property configuration timeout and use visual alignment these three properties serve a very important purpose the first one is the timeout same like the activity timeout which you have seen in the ui automation the default value is 2000 next we have the property which is called the use visual alignment if you select this property which is the use visual alignment what would happen the regular expression are applied to the text version generated on the visual world alignment a visual world alignment includes word separated by a single space character line separated by a new line character slash n and pages separated by the two line character the default value is false the last one is the configuration where the extractor value is stored as a json string here today in the data extraction scope if i just go to the activities document understanding extractors see i have the form extractor i have the regex extractor and then here is something which is intelligent form extractor which is deprecated in this version but let's say if you are on on premise or in a different environment then you can have this also right so today i am going to use this extractor which is the easiest one which is the regex based extractor we'll drag and drop the extractor here and now 
this guy understand that okay i have to use the regular expression base extractor to extract the data next i'll go here and click on this button which is the configure expressions okay and now as soon as you click on that you would get this wizard where it is showing you these details whatever you have configured into your taxonomy right so if you remember from the taxonomy manager we have configured that okay from the invoices i need invoice number account and the date and for the receipts we have found that we want to get these values now here is a column which is saying expression so what actually this expression means it simply means that once the ui path has read the data all of the data would be available in a string variable and regular expression is a technology to extract the information from a string okay how does it work let's figure it out so it is asking me that what exactly is the invoice number so it is asking me that mukesh write a regular expression to extract the invoice the good part about the regular expression is you can simply click on this button which is this edit and it will open this regular expression builder for you not only is this builder but you can test the regular expression also what do i mean by that so for example i have a text okay for example i have a text which says that my name is mukesh okay and my email id is mail mukesh kala at the rate of gmail dot com and i have let's say seventeen thousand subscribers okay so this is a string let's say and assume that we have to write a regular expression this wizard allows you to build the regular expression directly here so you can see the small drop down here where i can say that i want to have a regular expression that gives me only the email id so i can go here and i select email id and you would see that this is a regular expression which is there to identify the email id and it is clearly able to identify the email id as well right now if i just change this email id and i just put a different email id it is still able to recognize so that's the power of regular expression and this regular expression ui path has automatically generated for me now today let's say i have a new requirement that i am only interested to get this number which is the 17000 so i can go to the rejects and i can say that just give me the literals or maybe sorry the digit and it will highlight this digit right tomorrow if this number changes to something like this it's still able to get this now i can change the string something like this then i put a number then a string then a number right so that's the power of regular expression right you can write regular expression here you can configure this you can use the advanced you can use this existing functions you can test your regular expression and once done you can just click on this button save and this would be getting saved for you right now many of you might be thinking how i will write this regular expression right you can use a lot of online tools which are available to write regular expression you can use chat gpt also to write the regular expression for you okay so that is just a hint right now let's try to see how do we write it i'll show you for one of them and then rest you can just copy paste okay so for a moment let me just go here and i'll quickly disable this complete data extraction scope right why i am doing it i'll explain you so i've just commented it out so i'll just put a breakpoint here okay i have put a breakpoint on the extraction right and let's see what document we have here and uh, we have this receipt here okay so what happens before the extraction so before the extraction the complete document is digitized we have seen with the help of ocr 
the ui path would classify it and then all of that would be given to the extraction scope right which we have just configured i just commented it intentionally because i wanted to run it in the debug mode right so let's wait process started taxonomy started the digitization and remember our invoice is a scanned invoice so first the digitization is going to make it in a digitized text whichever we are going to pass in this next the classification will happen we have done the validation and then we are at the extraction stage right so we'll just wait for the breakpoint to hit and yes you can see it's 85 percent confident that this guy is a receipt okay we are not interested in that but if you go to the locals okay and here you would see that we have something which is called the str document and this is the same document text this one which you might have seen in the digitization as well so i'll just take a copy of this copy to clipboard i'll put it in a notepad and this is the same text which the robot is going to gi give to the extraction i'll say okay and i'll just stop this okay now let's go and re-enable our extraction which we just commented right now here we have got this data from the receipt so we have passed the receipt taxonomy everything we have passed here now regular expression is asking me configure the expression for the receipt from the receipt what information you want so i want the date okay so now if you see here when the document understanding is digitizing this is the input which i am getting and here is the date so if i have to write a regular expression i would be simply writing something that give me something write a regular expression where anything which is followed by this guy date is my date if i have to get let's say something like check number so i would look for this number check hash and i would like to extract this if i have to get let's say this time so i would ask the rejects to look for this string and then whatever comes after that extract that information that is how rejects work if i am interested in total i'll maybe give this reference let's say if i am interested to know this name right so i'll give this as the rejects that identify this wherever you find this whatever comes after that extract that information that's how rejects work okay so for this in the rejects the good part is you can test the rejects also right so let's try to write a rejects so for the date here you can see i have to extract the date now so i can go here and i can click on this button which is the edit and it will open this rejects builder for me okay what is the text test right what is the test so that's why i have extracted this you can also do the same when you are building a document understanding automation i'll copy this and pass this into my test so this is how it will happen in the runtime now this guy is asking me what is the regular expression you want to write so i'll go here and i'll set it to advance right now how do i write a regular expression for the date i just did a google search that write me a rejects where i need to get this followed by the date so i have got the regular expression which is which i have kept in this notepad so i'll just copy this date regular expression and i'll paste it back here and you can see that the date is properly highlighted if you try to understand this rejects it says that whatever is followed by the date then the d means the integer backslash two integer and then four integer right so d4 means four numbers then a slash d2 means two number which is one three d2 means this number and then this followed by the date so this is the regular expression which i have got for the date and you can see it is clearly able to identify the date right now you don't have to copy and look into this you can go to the video description and you can just copy paste it from this one which is the receipt section right i will put all of this into the 
video description for you for you to directly copy paste right but the idea is simple you have to first test your regular expression so i have pasted it and i just say save and you can see that it is taken similarly for the total i'll just click on edit and whatever the text i have got i'll just because we want to make sure right that our rejects is working i'll paste this i'll go to the advance okay and then here it is asking me what is the rejects for the total so for the total the rejects is this i'll copy this paste it here and now you can see that it is extracting a lot of data so i will just fix it immediately total and then i'll put a colon and this is the rejects now all right i have a little more experience than you guys in rejects so that's the reason i am able to do it but trust me at after some time i am going to show you a easy way to write this rejects right but as of now please bear with me and you can just copy paste the rejects from here okay so i'll go here and i'll save this right next it is asking me to provide the server name so i'll go here and i'll provide this server name copy go back to the server name i can edit and the important thing is you should test it first right because if you don't test it how would you know right what is coming what is not coming so i'm just individually testing all of that and you can see that the server name michel is highlighted so that means this will work so i'll just go and save this and that completes my thing for this receipts right similarly if i have to do it for the invoices i have to get the invoice number the account number and the date so i will just save this i will rerun this and then this time we will get the complete data for the invoice in the same way and you would test the extractors right i have already tested the extractor so this is our string for the account number so i'll go here click on the configure extractors for the invoices account number i'll put this for the date i'll put this control c control v for the invoice number i'll go to my notepad control c and control v right so that way i have got all these regular expressions and i'll save this okay before moving forward i want to show you guys how you can write regular expression there is an easy way to do that you can go to your browser now you can go to a website any ai tool you can go to rejects builder but i just wanted to show you how you can get it right so in the chat gpt you can just write expression like this right so let's say i'll just copy this complete thing control c i'll paste it here and i will just say from the above text write a rejects to extract what data i want to extract this and done right so you would see that it has given me a rejects and this rejects you can just use in your automation so that's the easy way of writing the rejects directly using the ai it's important to use ai and you should know that how you can leverage ai in your day to day work okay so that's how you can use the rejects otherwise the other way is if you simply go to google and search for rejects generator you would see a lot of websites a lot of material which is available for you to help in the rejects right so that's a pretty handy way of using the regular expression but in case in document understanding if you have to use the rejects based extractor you need to write the rejects here and before you write just make sure that you click on this edit button and test the data and i have shown you how do you test it by just getting the digitized text pass it here and just test this this test can also happen the outside but the end objective is that you should have this thing right 
for your use case and the use case which i am doing you would find all these rejects which i have used in the video description so you can just directly do a control c control v and you can come to this stage okay once that is done just click on this button which is the save and then you have this button which is the configure extractors which is asking me for which document what extractor you want to use so as i have told we can have multiple kind of extractors so for the invoices i want to use this for the receipts i want to use this because i only have one extractors right and once you are done just click on this button which is save now still i am getting one error here right which says one of the feeling following fields must be provided but not both it is telling me mukesh either you provide me the classification result or provide me the document id there is no need to provide both the things right so i'll go here and i'll remove this classification result from here okay it says that okay provide me any one thing i am happy to do so i have removed the classification result right so please take care of the errors whichever you got here and now once we have cla uh, classified provided all this information configured the rejects in the configure extractors i have put this tick mark click on save and you would be good to go with the extractions right so i will remove this breakpoint from here and now let's go here and try to test this okay and the output of this extractor we will get in something which is called the extraction results let me just put the log messages good practice in the log level i'll say that this is the extraction started i'll copy this go here after this and i'll say extraction completed okay and let's try to see what data we get in the output and where it is located okay so we will minimize this i'll go here and i'll put a breakpoint on this one and let's save this and i'll just say debug okay and the document which we have put is a receipt okay and we are using the rejects based extractor which is the most basic extractor available with the document understanding to extract the data right trust me when once you are done with this you understand the pain of using all this extractor classifier then when we go to the ai and the ml based then you it would be very easy for you to relate right that's why we are going the hard way first so just bear with me and let's see the output okay so here it says that okay mukesh we have find a receipt 85% confidence more than 75 extraction started and this have completed the output of this was in a variable which is called the extraction results so let's go to the locals right here this is the output which is the extraction results same like classification result this is our variable which is the extraction result i can click on this small pencil icon kind of thing arrow it would expand it and here you can see that you have something which is called the results document the document id is receipt.pdf which is coming i can expand this result document and inside the result document you would see all the things about the document that what is the bond and all these things whatever we have regarding the document all this information is available inside the result document you would have something which is called the fields click on this arrow which is on the fields inside the field you have this thing which is called the raw view and inside the raw view you have the three items 1 2 3 so this is the place where the extraction result would be available for you so now if i click on the first one which is this raw view 0 and if i just maximize this right you would see that this is a result point data okay and if you scroll down you would see that the value is michelle right this was the receipt and this is the value which we are interested and the value is michelle 
now you might be thinking for which one you can see at the top it says that the field type field name is the server name from this receipt tbmk incoming receipt i am looking for the server name the server name is is missing is equal to false which means that it was able to find this data and the value for this one is michelle right similarly if you click on this one which is the first item i click on that and i expand it you would see here that it says that for the total in the tutorials by mukesh kala incoming receipt total the field name is total it is of the type number and the value which i have got is 19.88 right and all the other details are available here as well now similarly for the third one you can click on this button and you can see that it is able to extract the date as well and the date it has derived is somewhere it should be here 13 4 20 so if you remember this was our receipt and from this uipa document understanding is able to extract the total the server name which is michelle and the date right which was a scanned pdf i'll just go here and i'll say close this and i'll say continue right so this indicates that my regular expression extractor is working and it has given me the data right now let's try to do the same thing and i change it to something which is called the invoice number one okay so now i change this to invoice one i'll save this and go here and i'll again run it in a debug mode right so in the last time it was received and we were able to see that yes it was able to get me the data this time we are working on this invoice and from the invoice i think we have told it to extract this invoice number date and some other information right let's see so we will just wait for this document to get digitized classified and then come to the extraction stage 87 per 87 percent confident that this is an invoice right we have made the classification right and now let's go to the locals and let's try to analyze the extraction results this is the output right the same concept i'll expand this you can click on this pencil icon and see it there as well but it would come in a single line and it will take time for you to find this so just go to extraction result open this guy which is the result document same path right it will take some time to open and then you go to this one which is the fields okay inside the field you would have this guy which is the raw view expand that and then you would have three items all the three items uh, in can in our case it's only three items which we extracted so click on this small kind of this lens and then you can see that the invoice number is coming from tutorials by mukesh kala incoming invoices invoice number the field name is invoice number and the value which it has got is one four three four three double seven five which is nothing but this guy right see from this invoice we are now in a stage where we are able to extract this information right go for the second one for the second one also for the account number let's see what is the account number we have got four five five four three five two which is account number is tick, 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 here four five five four three five two right account number is also there and the last one i think was some date so field type is the date and here the value which we have got is 1 3 20 19. let's validate that see at the top 1 3 20 19. so this was from the first invoice right i'll just stop this and let's try to see if i pass a different kind of document will it be able to still get and extract me that information or not so i'll go here and now this time i'll change it to invoice number two i'll save this okay 
and let's try to run it again in the debug mode and I'll open my invoice number two meanwhile right so for the first invoice we have seen that it was able to extract this is our second invoice where we have to extract this account number this invoice number and the date I guess this guy 2008 right so this information we have to extract so again it will start digitization everything done 91 percent confident let's go to the locals extraction results i'll expand this results document and then you have this guy which is the fields and guys this is for the next invoice right you can see this is the invoice number two for the fields we go to the raw view right and then in the raw view we should be able to find this 30123 click on the first one invoice number let's see i1083 that's correct let's find the second value which is the account number c1006 which is this and then the date 8 14 2008 close this go to the third one which is the date field name is date and all of this is coming from the taxonomy right now i hope you guys are able to relate and here is the date 8 14 2008 i can close this and stop this right this means that my automation is able to extract all the information whatever we have decided in the taxonomy how cool is that right so if you are able to reach till this point just comment down extraction successful right i'll wait for your comment and uh, you can just com uh, copy paste the rejects from the description of this video right so whatever you see on the screen i have copy pasted so you should be able to get the same results okay back to the presentation so i have seen that i have got this rejects wizard since we only spoke about the reject space extractor so this is the thing you should know right so literal means any match the exact numbers character specified by you if you want to match the digit just select the digit and it will automatically write the regular expression for you U url us date us phone number and which start with white space all of this is self-explanatory but in case you want to write anything specific anything generic you should use this option which is the advanced and in our case we have used this guy which is the advanced to write our expression right we have also seen that you can use this test and the expression to test it whether it is able to extract or not you can correct it rather than doing the manipulation at the end you can directly check the rejects in this rejects builder next i want to show you one more interesting thing that how you can use the rejects extractor so let's say this was a use case where i have these two kind of forms which i am getting in my automation the first form is 10q the next form is 10k now depending on the user preference i want to know that what kind of form i am processing so if you see normally i can say that whatever comes after form just read the data so i went to the regular expression builder i said that the literal should be form then for a white space i put a backslash s anyone anymore you can just configure it here then the literal what i want to search i want to search this 10 hyphen and then this literal is a dollar which means anything but exactly one so this regular expression now whenever i put form 10k or 10q i was able to get that data right just to show you one more example that how rejects you can directly utilize this wizard combination as well okay as at the beginning we have discussed that you can have multiple kind of extractor same like you have multiple classifier you can have multiple extractor as well and in our case since i only had one extractor that's why i have to simply click on the extractor but this is a use case or a screenshot from a different project where we have the form extractor we have the rejects extractor which we see and then we have the machine learning extractor so now when you are configuring the extractor you have to simply tick that which extractor you want to use for which kind of document right so when you have multiple extractor you have to configure the extractor also we'll see that in uh, another video once we complete the basics one right but you have to remember that in case you work for a client customer 
they might have more than one extractor and you as a developer has to decide which extractor has to be used for which kind of document okay and these are the kind of extractors which are available you can have reject based extractor which is part of your intelligent ocr package you can have form based extractor which is again part of this package you can have forms ai which is in the document understanding automation cloud suite this also requires to have the document understanding dot ml activities which we don't have installed yet that's why we don't see this one right and then we can have the semi structured ai extractor which is also part of this ml we have not talked about this so we are not going into detail but you should know this stuff which is important that which extractor does what best so reject space extractor you should use when you exactly know the format of the page and you exactly know what value you want to extract form extractor you should use when the regular values are simple table from fixed forms like let's say an inquiry form remember our first discussion what is the difference between structured and structured semi structured so wherever we have form i can use the form extractors forms ai i should use when i have this same one but i want to train it without any special training i can use the forms ai semi structured ai again extract regular or complex value on tables from complex document easy to use depend on the complexity of the documents right so different extractor has different capabilities but as of now we have only installed the intelligent ocr package that is why you only see these two extractors right and we had used this one you can always go ahead and try to use the form extractor as well okay okay so that is all i wanted to cover in this video i hope you are finding this series insightful and you are now learning document understanding in a step by step manner i would really appreciate your feedback on this video and you can always go ahead and post about this on the social media that yes you are learning document understanding that would encourage you and your network could also know that yes there is something document understanding which you are learning right and that will also help me to gain popularity of my channel as well right so with that i will wait for your comments i will wait for your feedback and see you in the next video where we are going to export the data thank you for watching and happy automation mm -hmm.